Hey, it's Wolfie Chan, and wait, wait, do not forget to subscribe. Please, please, it really helped me out. I am back for another manga review, and this one is Imaginary. So, this is a really interesting manga that I forgot that I had on my shelf, and I was like, you know what, let's do a review about this one. It's really interesting, and the name of the characters really hurt me. I believe we follow our main character, Tasuku. Tasuku. And he has always kind of been in love or had a crush with his childhood friend, Micah. Now, they used to hang out, go to places, all this stuff, and do imaginary things together when they were really little. Really and of course, he had a crush, life happened. You know, he was hoping, and then she ended up moving away. I mean, that's what childhood is like. You move away, and then you kind of end up forgetting. Well, Tatsuki ends up staying in the same place he's always been, working, all this good stuff, when Mayaka ends up moving back and moving into a little apartment and all this good stuff. They end up reconnecting and hanging out like friends. This. Uh, this image right here is one of my more favorite from the manga personally because Mayaka is still kind of imagining things like what if I'm walking on this beam and it's like water spilled all around me or what if there is spikes around me and at any point in time I could fall and nothing happens. Tazuki is kind of like, um, but it's just a cement block. You're, the, the only thing you're gonna have is maybe a sore butt when you fall. But she keeps coming up with these kind of imaginary scenarios, things happening here, there, or something else. And she, Mayaka, reminds me a lot of me who loves to envision, you know, what happens if this would happen? What happened if life happened like that? What if at any point in time the floor was actually lava? Anything like that is up to Mayaka's, you know, imagination. And Mayaka is, of course, messaging Tatsuki and talking to him about this or that. And Mayaka brings up, like, hey, you can come over and stay at my place for a little bit uh, to hang out. They don't do anything intimate or anything like that, but they are really cute. Her friends are like, well, aren't you going to get, you know, some... Uh, classy clothes and so good looking and she's like why why would I um because guys kind of wanna you know party in the jungle and you you don't want to look good for him and all that good stuff and she turns bright red she's like that's not what I'm thinking of I just wanted to hang out with him yeah but don't you like him well of course I do but like what what do you mean I should get dressed or what should I do and her girlfriends are all like into different things and they're all like, well, you should dress up like this, like that, like this. You should go do this. They end up hanging out and it's like a normal evening. Even Tatsuki was like, oh my God, are we going to do anything? Are, are we, are we, are we going to date? Are we, what do we do? What do I say? Oh my goodness. Everything. Everything's up in their brains and it is the cutest thing that inevitably they just kind of hug and that's how their night ends. But it's really cute that after so many years, Mayaka is still loved, you know, imagining things. And Satsuki ends up kind of being an adult that forgets kind of how life is. Which, I mean, you can't blame. After years of growing up, going through life, doing this, doing that, you end up trying your darndest and it doesn't end well. You try so hard to exist and be part of something and it doesn't work out anymore. You're trying your best for something that's not gonna work. And to be fair, it's really sad that he, Tatsuki, ends up kind of growing up to be kind of just a normal adult. Whereas Mayaka still has the whimsy and wonder that you could ever have with this. And her life is still kind of like, wow. And that's how I see my world. It's just, there's so many cool things you could go around. It's just, some days my body's more sore than others to adventure or to go on an exploration or to walk down somewhere. But it's not a bad thing that I still see the world in a whimsical way, just like my uncle. 
This is only volume one of this, by the way, and I forgot about it, so I don't have volume two or anything. But if you like this manga, I could definitely grab volume two if I find it, see it, or if it's on Amazon. So, if you like this, definitely leave a like, leave it in the comment section below. Have you read Imaginary? And what do you think of this? And also, don't forget that big red button for more anime, manga, something new, something old, something different in the future. And I hope that you've been having a wonderful day. Wolfie Chan, out. Bye!